With inflation running rampant, your groceries aren't the only thing getting more expensive. Bus companies in Taipei and New Taipei are facing growing operating expenses, and they say a price hike of 6 NT per rider is necessary. That's a costly prospect for local governments. They don't want to raise bus fares for passengers, but that could mean shouldering the price hike themselves at a price tag of over 4.5 billion NT. On city buses in Greater Taipei, most riders know that a tap on the sensor deducts 15 NT. But amid inflation and the COVID pandemic, bus operators are eager to raise rates. If you have to ride the bus every day, an increase would seem like a big change and a big burden. I think that even a 1 NT or 2 NT increase would be too much. Although if you bought a monthly bus pass, you'd be in for an even bigger bargain. I would buy a monthly pass. Commuters fear the impact of a rate hike on their wallets. Today, the standard fare is 15 NT, while the student rate is 12 NT and the concessionary rate 8 NT. Fares for customers have stayed the same for 21 years. There's also a figure known as the official cost per passenger. That's currently 19.31 NT, and the difference between that and the fare is subsidized by city governments. Citing a 35% hike in operating costs, bus companies want an additional 6 NT per passenger. If none of that is passed on to the customer, city governments will need to pay an extra 4.6 billion NT. Of course, bus operators want an increase to the official cost per passenger. But if that rate is adjusted, city governments will need to increase their subsidies. Right now, the subsidies are already more than what the city governments can afford, so operators will need to raise fares for customers. Experts say that a full 6 NT fare hike is unlikely. The official cost per passenger is reviewed every two years by a committee, and increases range between 0.5 and 1 NT. The last meeting was in 2020. Bus operators must propose a rate hike plan to be assessed by the committee. This year, adjustment proposals for the official rate can be submitted in July. So far, the Public Transport Office has not received any relevant documentation or any applications for an adjustment. Regarding bus fares, generally speaking, the fares will remain the same. With regard to the rates that passengers are charged, once passenger volume stabilizes, we'll discuss passenger rates further. At present, this is not a priority. In both Taipei and New Taipei, local officials say there are no immediate plans to raise bus fares. They say that a review of the official passenger rate will take at least half a year, so the question of fares won't be handled until after the November elections.